On this video we're gonna see how we can create interactive letterboxes very easily for horizontal and vertical videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go into Final Cut. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and we will start with the first clip, the horizontal version, and the first thing that we want to do is to select this clip and we're gonna lift it from the storyline. We can do that by using two different methods, the first one is by pressing Command, Option and the top arrow in our keyboard, or the second one is to right click and click Lift from Storyline. From there we're gonna hold the option in our keyboard and by clicking it we're gonna create a duplication, we will have a duplicate layer. Now, the duplicated layer above, we're gonna press V in our keyboard and we're gonna disable it. Now, we will select the clip above and we will go into the inspector panel on the right and on the crop area, we're gonna adjust the top, let's say to 300 pixels and the bottom, same, 300 pixels to create the letterbox effect. We will select the duplicated, which is in the bottom, we will press again V and now we will go into the inspector panel and we're gonna change the scale all under the transform to let's say 150 pixels. You can use your own imagination here, you can experiment and do the transformation on the scale to match your own taste. Now we will click on the effects panel and we will search for focus. We will drag focus and place it on the clip below. We will go into the spectral panel and now we can adjust the parameters of the focus Let's make it about 45, the amount. We can control also the softness. We can control also the softness. I will leave it as it is in the default. The emphasis, let's make it a little bit darker. Perfect, and we have it blurred. And after we have done with all of this, you need to disable the audio from the duplicated clip. We can simply select it, go in the inspector panel, and drag the volume up to the left or simply drag this line to the bottom. And now let's go to the vertical version. Again, the same process, we will start with pressing Command, Option and the top arrow in our keyboard to lift it from the storyline. Then we're pressing Option and the click to create the duplicate version. But now because we already have the letter boxes on the left and on the right, we're gonna work only with the duplicated which is below. So we're selecting it, we go into the inspector panel, we can scale it, let's say we can do 320, and again we will go into the effects panel, we're gonna drag focus, we will change the amount to 45, now you can change it to even more if you want, and also you can change the width so more of the screen is blurred and the height. Lastly, you can experiment with more effects. For example, we can drag the prism effect as well, or we can search for the bad TV effect. These are effects that I always love to use. And you can be creative to create the duplicated version that it's gonna be below your vertical video. Do you have an idea or something that you want to learn next? Drop it in the comment section down below and I can make this happen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this one. I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video.